It may not look like much, but this is where track cycling in Africa took a significant step forward. Host South Africa dominated the inaugural African Continental Track Championships, but that was expected given little more than a handful of other African riders competed. But with nine African countries in attendance overall, organizers hope this is just the starting point. We tried it in 2001, but there was no continuity. Now there's a stated objective to formally develop the track discipline in Africa. So these are the African Continental Track Cycling Championships. And the idea is that we will grow it year on year and it will become as big as a road within the next two to three, say five years. Is a huge pool of talent and there's no reason why they cannot be excelling on the track as well. Track cycling in Africa faces a number of obstacles. Not only is it hugely expensive, but there are only a few tracks dotted around the continent. But that could soon be about to change. This is Nora Desem from Tunisia. She believes that in time and with more experience, she can vie for the top prizes. It's uh, a good experience here uh, to, to, to ride with uh, strong girls. To, uh, to get uh, a more better level. Essentially, uh, our level uh, is, is near to, uh, to them and uh, I'm sure I will be better next, next few years. I, I, will, I will get uh, gold medals. But not all the African riders are rookies on the track. Jason Daniel Butler represents Nigeria, although this is his first time in Africa, having grown up in London. His local track is the London 2012 Olympic Velodrome. Before I left the UK, a lot of people did get interested and they were saying, you know, keep in touch, let us know how it goes. And so when I go back, you know, everyone's going to want to know about my story. There's a lot of African riders in the UK that were also born in the UK, but they could sort of follow my footsteps and maybe train hard to come here next year. Although this may look like just an extension of a South Africa track championships, the organisers are confident that will soon change and that track cycling on the continent has a bright future. We want to globalise the sport and therefore maybe not for this Olympics but definitely for 2020 there should be more than just South Africa competing at the Olympics in the track discipline and that is our duty to get as many other nations up to the level and beyond South Africa. I believe there's no reason why South Africa should always be the, the benchmark. If we get the other nations um, active there's no reason why they can even be better than South Africa. Most of the African riders will be on more familiar ground in February when they return to South Africa for the African Road Championships. For that event, more than 30 African countries are expected to compete. Organisers hope it won't be long before track cycling has similar representation. Dan Williams, CCTV, Peter Maritzburg, South Africa.